when the velocity of a moving object is doubled, its blank is also doubled. Um, so, uh, if the velocity of a moving object is doubled, its acceleration does not necessarily double. Um, so, its acceleration uh, could be zero after its velocity has been doubled, although some non-zero acceleration must act on it to change its velocity. Um, acceleration is not the correct choice here. Uh, kinetic energy is maybe a tempting answer, but we know that kinetic energy is equal to one half mass times speed squared. And so if we double the velocity, we will also double the speed. However, uh, doubling the speed will result in four times the kinetic energy. Um, so the new kinetic energy after doubling the speed will be equal to four times the original kinetic energy. Um, so the kinetic energy is not doubled, instead it would be quadrupled, so that is not correct. Uh, potential energy does not depend on the speed of an object. Um, usually potential energy uh, such as gravitational potential energy or uh, electrical uh, potential energy depends on uh, factors other than speed. Uh, next we have mass. So if you double the velocity of a moving object, its mass does not necessarily change. Um, so if I were to uh, pick up my pencil and move it at some velocity and then double that velocity, it wouldn't gain any mass. Um, in other words, no extra matter would flow into it. Uh, and then finally we have momentum. And this obviously must be the correct choice since it's the only remaining choice. Uh, we know that momentum is equal to mass times velocity. So we see that momentum is directly proportional to velocity. So if we double the velocity of a mass that remains constant, we end up with twice the momentum. So this expression represents the initial momentum as we have written here. Um, so the new momentum after doubling the velocity will be two times what it was before. So momentum is the correct choice.